Okay, here we go, guys. A little demonstration, graphic demonstration of Henry's Law. What we have here is a fluid. This happens to be <laughs> for color purpose and the fact that this is what we have. This is automatic transmission fluid. But what we're going to do is we're going to blow some bubbles and then we're going to make them go away. All right. Now, what happens is we're going to run this down. And in just a second, and this is, this is the most amazing thing to me, because what happens is, is this shows a graphic way to dissolve oxygen or dissolve gas into liquid. Now, once we run this down, we're going to make a nice big bunch of bubbles here. In just a second. Here we go. All right. And now, there we go. We are now blowing bubbles. So we're going to put our light back behind that and we'll get an idea of just how how much foam we really have in there. Okay. Now now what happens with Henry's Law, and this is real important. Alright. What we see here is we got about a half inch. But we have about a half inch of dag on the foam. Now, in a wastewater environment, when we're working with, uh, uh, when we're working uh, near the surface, especially, and this is real, real important, um, we wind up making a lot of extra daggone froth and foam and everything. It makes a mess, and a lot of times it has fecal coliform and other types of, of, of contaminants in it that are very, very bad. Now, if we put that dome under a little bit of pressure, what's going to happen is this: we can make that, we can make that, all of that disappear. It's amazing. But that's called Henry's Law. And what happens is, the more pressure that's on top of the fluid, the more the gas will stay dissolved in the fluid. Now, this is real important. You think, well, that only works as long as the gas is on it. But here's what happens. Is you, can take a, you can take the pressure off now, and very little comes back. What we just did is we dissolved it in, and it'll stay dissolved. All right? Now, what we have to do is at the bottom of the Savannah River, we have a lot of extra pressure. We can dissolve the gas into the dagon oxygen, or the oxygen into the river water at this very high pressure, and it'll stay dissolved. It doesn't come undone. So the plume, especially if you do it, say, on an incoming tide, the plume could be huge, huge, and go for a very, very long way.